Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Crucible Chat. Yes, it's Saturday, it's that time of the week where I get to talk about whatever the fuck it is I want. My name is Mike, otherwise known as the Gadget Addicts, and in the background, we have a bit of Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah, a bit of me failing to do anything of any significance on the Walker Assault map. Um, I'm enjoying that game. It's really, it's so far, it's really good from the little snippet that we've seen. But anyway, that's not what I want to talk about today. No, I want to talk about fools and how they can be so easily separated from their money. Now, I don't know if any of you saw this earlier this week, but I, there's a news article on Eurogamer that I read and I found incredibly funny. The link's in the description for it. Basically, uh, some high-profile FIFA YouTubers got hacked in the last week or so, and. They reacted so badly, and I found it so hilarious. So the whole story is, uh, last month, uh, a few FIFA YouTubers, hang on, here, I've got the names here, uh, Anison Gibb, W2S, Nepe Nepenthes, Nick2AT, Bateson87, and Matt MattHDGamer, all had their FIFA accounts hacked. And they had their players deleted and all of their FIFA coins redistributed elsewhere, basically not in their accounts. And they then took to YouTube to talk about it. And they lost their shit. They all made these ridiculous, fucked up, screaming videos, getting so angry. Uh, I mean, Matt HD Gamer, he went on ballistic, fucking screaming at the camera and, and dropping C bombs here, there, and everywhere. That. Was it W2S, fella? Was it W2S? Yeah, W2S. He picked up his gaming chair and threw it across the room and started screaming down messages directly at EA. Basically, what had happened is, although from the story, well, they all have slightly different stories on it, but the general gist of it is that someone, the hackers, had, well, hadn't actually hacked. They did a, a social engineering trick by going through uh, EA's help desk their online chat thing, uh, providing the gamer tag of these YouTubers, uh, and then kind of spoofing with information that they already knew from YouTube, from Twitter and Facebook and that, and then kind of getting access into their accounts that way. And I'm going to highlight w, uh, W2S because he in particular got my goat with his take on the situation. So his little story. Uh, and the videos are in the Eurogamer articles, so by all means go look at their videos as well. If you can stomach grown men-ish screaming on like ridiculous children. Ugh. But anyway, yeah, so his story, he recounted exactly what happened. So he, because he's a FIFA YouTuber, he wanted to get content out early, as you would expect you would. As all us YouTubers want to, you know, we all want to get that early jump on the views. Uh, he went and th there was a thing with Ar Argos, a retailer in the UK. They had this kind of workaround where if you bought the FIFA 16 Xbox One bundle, somehow you got it like two or three days before the game actually went on sale to the general public. So he ended up actually getting the game early. And he, he went on, he started playing. And well, in fact, rather than starting playing, he went on and he put £2,000 or there and about into FIFA packs, into the FIFA Ultimate Team packs. Now again, if you haven't played FIFA Ultimate Team, and I haven't, but I know a fair bit about it, you can buy these packs. It's like Pokemon cards. They're digital blind packs, and you get players in them. And the whole idea is, you, you know, you you get, buy the packs for real money, um, and then, you know, you try and build a good team with what you get, and you can, like, you can trade players, and there's a whole economy that goes with it. Um, and then, you know, if you don't want to buy packs, you can put real money into f FIFA dollars or whatever they are. And then go into the internal tr trading system and buy players. Off. It's fucking ridiculous. Anyway, so we put £2,000 or about $3,500 into FIFA Ultimate Team. And he amassed a team of, like, all the fucking legends. I mean, he had, like, all the legacy guys like George Best in there. He had, I think he had Neymar and it, I don't know, just name some footballers, I don't fucking know. I don't really care that much about football. But, um, yeah, so he, he put um, all his money into it. And then what the hackers did was they deleted all of his players and all of his stock of spare players and then siphoned off his money. And basically he went from having about 8 million FIFA credits to having 140,000 or something like that, which isn't worth a lot. And... He went on with FIFA customer services and they eventually, as a goodwill gesture, refunded him about 4 million FIFA coins. And then in his video, he went on to then like work out how much his team was worth 
and then scream at EA because they didn't give him the money back. And he claims he lost about a thousand pound. Now, you see what this says to me, okay, part of the issue is on EA because their security policies clearly aren't good enough if someone can just do a social engineering trick over the EA live chat and get someone's details. That's pretty shitty. However, the onus is also on the player of the game, on these YouTubers, to have the right adequate security. You know, I don't have an EA account, I don't know what's consistent of it, but I can guarantee you this, every account that I've got where I can either put money into something, so like for instance the Gmail account that my PlayStation's tied to, um, my, the Gmail account my uh, Apple ID is applied to, all that kind of thing. They all have two-step verification. I make sure I'm secure on fucking everything. The password for my PlayStation, I'm, obviously I'm not going to say it, but the password for my PlayStation, I generate it off a random number generator. And I have it written down somewhere if I ever need to put it in. You know, it, it's that kind of thing. I don't have standard passwords to these things because I've seen a lot of things with YouTubers as, as well being hacked. Um, Dailies, uh, a guy I know from the Watchers Game Community, I believe his his channel was hacked recently. Uh, I've seen people have all their videos deleted. I've seen people have their account, their YouTube account shut down. Apocalypse, it happened to him the other day. Uh, he set up a second channel uh, after his first one and had issues with tags. Uh, he got about 8,000 subscribers on that one and then all of a sudden, poof, it's gone. Someone hacked in and deleted the account. So he's had to revert back to his old channel. Not that he's doing him any harm, he, had, he still had 25,000 subscribers on the other one, but the point is, I've seen a lot of people being hacked recently, and it's got me a little bit security paranoid. So, I, you know, I've enabled two-step verification on all of my various Gmail accounts. Um, my PayPal account has a ridiculous password that I have to try and remember every time I want to log into it. You know, stuff like that, everything I try to keep as secure as possible. And I try to avoid having cards tied to accounts. And stuff like that. And like, I, I, whenever I want to buy something on PlayStation Network, I buy a voucher for that value, put the code in, and then buy it. If that makes sense, rather than having like a debit or a credit card attached to the account, it just seems to make more sense that way to me. But if I ever do get hacked, and please, ooh, touch wood, yeah, touch wood, that doesn't happen. I'm not gonna go and make a video screaming at the camera. Like proper fuck, 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 fucking fuck, kind of screaming. I mean, these guys would be the most ridiculous, obnoxious, horrible people you could ever expect. All because someone wiped out some digital content. And you know what? To be honest, more fool them for putting that much money into a fucking game. You know, one, the security wasn't right. Two, okay, it's slightly EA's fault. Three, who the fuck in their right mind puts £2,000 into a game, plus then spends £400 on an Xbox bundle so they can play the game three days fucking early? I'm sorry, like, but even if I ever get to be a big YouTuber and I'm earning that cash money, even if I'm earning that fucking YouTube cash, I am not going to buy a game and pump £2,000 into digital fucking content. It's on the disc anyway, all the player skins are on the disc, all you're doing is unlocking cards so you can play as these players online. No! I mean, I've said this before, if I dropped a hundred pound on advanced supply drop video, advanced supply drops in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and made a video saying, hey, look at all these fantastic guns I've got, I would lose subscribers left, right, and centre. Ugh. Sorry, I'm getting really annoyed by this now because these kids these guys, these kids, I don't even know how old they are, they look kind of, they look younger than me anyway, so I'm going to call them kids. These kids, the, making the biggest noise and the biggest stink on YouTube for the most ridiculous of things. So yeah, yeah, your account gets hacked, fine, go on video and say, hey guys, look, I had this fantastic team yesterday, I showed you on Twitter, I showed you on a video. Someone hacked me, it's gone. It fucking sucks, but you know what, I'm going to start again. I would have a lot more respect for them if they did that. And I have seen people do videos like that. Uh, Jerry Van Horn, uh, Silent Sabbath Gamer, or uh, he's had a few channels. He did that. He got hacked once and he lost his channel. He came back, he made a new channel. Yeah, hey guys, it really fucking sucked, but I'm still here. I'm still fighting the good fight. Oh man, these fucking idiots annoy me so much because I work hard at YouTube and they've probably worked hard at YouTube before but they're taking it so much for granted it's it is their living but they are taking the fact that they are big YouTubers for granted and you know bragging about the fact that hey look we've got the 
two of the three of the top ten teams on FIFA Ultimate Team. You you can see their fucking gamer tag on the dashboard of FIFA Ultimate Team. They even one of them even showed a screenshot of it. Just showed that he was so high up the rankings. So, you know, it's fucking easy. Anybody could just get their gamer tag and go to EA and say, hey, by the way, I can't get into this account. Here's my gamer tag. Okay, can you confirm an email address? I'm gonna say YouTube about page business. Yada 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 at gmail.com. Yeah, that, that's it, yeah. And you know what I mean? It's just the most ridiculous thing. They have so much public information out there. Their accounts on secure and they put stupid amounts of money into the game. Ugh. Breathe, Michael. <laughs> okay, I think that's my rant over. I've been sitting on this rant for about three days now and I really wanted just to get it out. Um but yeah, I mean people are free to put in money in the microtransactions all the one. I'm not gonna judge anybody for that. I will judge you, however, if you put £2,000 or $3,500 into a game. I'm sorry, but I will judge you there. And I'll judge you as an idiot who has far too much money. Anyway, <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, please do make sure you leave a like and subscribe and come back next time for more Crucible Chat. For now, though, thank you for watching and good night.